I find payments actually very crucial. Um, one of the biggest things we find is there's a uh, misunderstanding amongst non-industry professionals exactly how regulated gaming is. We sit at the intersection between payments, banking regulation, as well as uh, hundreds of different jurisdictions for gaming regulation. And so it's actually fairly critical being able to have the right infrastructure, the right services at the right time to stay compliant, comply with AML, safety for the patrons, as well as having a good customer experience. So for me, it's central to gaming success. Yeah, WorldPay has been a strategic partner for us, actually, as we go in uh, to new products and services in gaming and try to move from land-based to digital. Uh, it's really critical to have a partner that understands uh, all the needs from a gaming regulatory standpoint, as well as from a banking uh, and compliance standpoint. And as we not launch our, all of our products and services, WorldPay has been a really good strategic partner in that effort. This is an exciting time for the gaming industry. I think the future is very bright. There's lots of new technologies, and as we break down the decades of regulatory barriers and allow new products and innovations in in the digital sector, it's a fantastic foundation for new products and services to come into being. I think uh, digital identities are going to be foundational. Uh, as we move forward, it's relatively easy to assign a liability once I know exactly who you are. That means I can also be more compliant, but we're also going to have to have things that allow the anonymous players to continue to exist in a way that is, is compliant with regulatory as well. I think we have new things with uh, things like blockchain technologies, uh, AI, they all represent new foundations, new frontiers for entertainment venues, but as well as compliance and safety. So I think this is a very exciting time for us, as long as we continue this great forward momentum that we have.